What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new vlog here in Osaka, Japan. Now this is the evening of sneaker con Osaka day one and uh, we just finished a delicious delicious dinner where we like cooked the, the beef and the chicken and stuff uh, in front of us and now now we're doing some shopping. So we're gonna do some streetwear shopping uh, at uh, Adidas, well sneaker shopping at Adidas because the brand new Yeezys just came out today. I think they're like the Yeezy 500 and then I think we also are going to be going to Orange Street today where they have all the Bape Supreme undefeated. Like I have a lot of stuff there. So uh, yeah, if you are a hype beast, if you love streetwear, if you love sneakers, this is the uh, little vlog that you'll probably enjoy. And if you guys want to see a dedicated like tour and guide to shopping here in Osaka, I'll leave that link down below. You can hit that card in the top right hand corner right now. But uh, yeah, it's packed. This is the street. I believe it's called Dosunbori Street and it's absolutely packed. Like take a look at all the people around me. It's not as bad as uh, like Shibuya, but it's, it's pretty high up there. It's actually really, really crowded. So with that said, let's get some shopping done and I'll catch you guys at the first store. So this next store I'm really really excited to get into. This is the Puma store and it's near the Nike store that we vlogged at in the past in the Apple store. It's along this long street like one of the main streets where all the lights are like LED lit. All the lights are LED lit obviously they're LED lit. All of the trees are LED lit so if you look everywhere you get these like cool Christmas vibes. It's really nice. It's really festive. With that said the Puma and Balmain collaboration just came out and I'm actually really really hyped for it. Check it out. We got the Puma RSX Cubed. You've seen these a few times already on the trip they are everywhere Ooh, they got a new colorway of the puma rsx the uh, olive and black one i messed with these we have a few of the puma rsx mid we saw these earlier the olives the blacks but this is the colorway i haven't seen yet the white colorway and uh puma actually gave me this pair here so i'll do a review of these very very soon i'm hyped i uh, i like them like i do the rsx's but i think i like the rsx a bit more in the mids, but they're still a dope shoe, especially in colorways like this olive one right here. This one's cool too. I really like this Puma RSX. This one is called the RSX Unravel. At first, I thought it was a Adder Air collaboration just because of this like contrast stitching you guys can see right here. This like random stitching almost. I really like these. If you like the Adder Air collection, I'm sure you guys are gonna like these. These are going for 13,800 yen. And then they also have this colorway of the RSX. I haven't seen this one before. This is also from the Puma Unravel pack. Check these out. They got the Puma Cell V. Venom One Piece. Yo, this is so sick. This is like pirate treasure right here. I love it. 18,000 yen for these. I know One Piece did a collaboration with Skechers and that was straight up garbage, but this, this is cool, man. This is really cool. If you're a One Piece fan like I am, you're gonna love these. I honestly, I don't think I could wear these, but as a collector's item, these are really, really dope. The one thing about the shoe though, is if the shoe box is not a pirate treasure box, I'd be very, very disappointed. Here's another colorway of the Puma RSX. These are really, really nice. I love the bold contrast and that like teal, the red, the yellow. These are really, really cool. I wish they released these as one of the earlier colorways. I know this is a bit further into the RSX lifespan, but I think this one really would have made some waves. This is really cool. They have a whole Puma Outer Era collection. They have some clothing. They got some sneakers, the double beanie. That's cool. That's cool. We also got some hats and the massive, massive backpack. This would be perfect for vlogging. Yo, this thing is huge. Over here, we also got one of the really, really nice Outer Era collaborations. These are 14,000 yen. Damn. I mess with these heavy dude. Puma, send these over, <laughs> send these over. They also have a bunch of the clothing too, which I don't get to see very, very often. I love the clothing. I wish I bought some of the earlier pieces that they did, but these are all really dope. We got a big puffy white jacket. Oh, cool. There's even like a little bag thing here too. This is cool. I mess with this. I mess with, dude, I mess with so much of the Puma Outer Air clothing. This black hoodie, it's not even a hoodie, black crew neck sweater. This is dope. Oh, the tags like here on the side. That's cool, man. This is cool. You know, you know, really. So next up, I want to show you guys the Puma Balmain collection right here. They have a lot of it still in store, so let's, uh, let's do a quick little rundown. Here's a look at the table. They got the uh, the beanie or toque right here. They have what looks like a, a headband of some sort. Another kind of headband. We got some workout gloves. 
and they have the red hoodie. Now, I love the hoodies. I love what they did with the hoodies. This red and white one's really fire. I really like this black and gold and white one here too. But my issue with these is the holes and the distressing. I think that was just so unnecessary. Like it, it's such a good piece on its own, but then they added the holes in distressing. Don't really know why. Uh, the collection is created and designed with Cara Delevingne, of course, one of the Victoria's Secret angels. I don't think she models for Victoria's Secret anymore, but uh, yeah, it's cool to see that they reached out to her for this project. There she is modeling one of the hoodies that I just showed you guys. You also have like an athletic gym bag here too, sort of like a boxing athletics theme going on here. This tee right here, like it's all right. It doesn't wow me. It, it doesn't wow me, but I like it. I like it. And they have the red and black one here. Oh, this one right here, just because of the colorway, it speaks to me a ton. I might have to grab this one, honestly. So I'm here with my friend Colin, who's also a big designer head. He knows a bit more about Balmain than I do. So can you tell me like what is going on here? Because I don't really like it. I like the shirt, but I don't like this. Yeah, tell so me. basically it's it's such a classic Balmain style. Mm -hmm. Having all of these hardwares here, like the buttons, the military inspired design. Yeah. It has a lot of club couture. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much um, the, the signature style that Balmain created. You know, mm -hmm. um, forgot the name of the creative director, but should I should remember that. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, because yeah. uh, Balmain actually had a collaboration with H&M. Yes. And if you look at those pieces, they have they reflect almost the same pieces, just classic Balmain style. So Even the whole gold and black stuff. From all the collection that you see here, what are your like favorite pieces? If there's like two or three, or like maybe just one that you really want to showcase well, probably, on the channel, what, what speaks out to you? Honestly, probably this yeah. and um, uh, the shoe, the, 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 the black one with the red. Uh, I'll grab that. These ones here? Yeah, these ones okay, here. Okay, yeah. Because like, uh, I think it's it's one of the less funky ones, mm -hmm. but kind of kind of works, kind of works. Mm. And the the damn damn jacket, except for the holes. So now I want to show you guys my favorite piece from the collection. It is this jacket. Colin, can I actually have you like hold it for me real quick? Whoa. So this piece right here is insane. The red, yep, yep. the blue, the gold, and turn it around. This one. Boom. Yes. Yes, I love this. I love this. But retail is very, very expensive. Yeah. A lot of the retail is very, very expensive when it comes to this collection. Yep. So this here is uh, 85,000. 85, yeah. I really, really like it though. And and this tee, this white and black one I showed you guys earlier, this so is nice. going for 26,000 yen. It also has the distressing on the bottom. Yeah. And then these tees are actually going for like 195 Canadian. Yeah. So very, very expensive. I think I'm going to treat myself to this black and red one. But uh, because of how expensive the whole collection is, I think this might be my only treat for today. <laughs> so I'm trying on the t-shirt right now. And I gotta say, it fits perfect. And it's actually made in Portugal. But I know for some collaborations, like the ones that Balmain and H&M did, they did the manufacturing for a lot of it, I think, in like the cheaper countries like H&M is normally produced in. But the shirt is produced in Portugal, of all places. So that's pretty dope. I really like the way it fits. But 200 Canadian, it hurts. It really, really hurts. But I love Puma and I love this collection. So I'm gonna grab this one piece from it. And I'll also be grabbing a bunch of bait. And I'll also show you guys all the bait I picked up earlier in the vlog. Um, but yeah, we're going to grab this tea real quick. And uh, yeah. Colin just made me try on this, this guy right here. He made me try on the jacket. Yo, the jacket is so nice. The jacket is... Look at this, yo. Look at this. This jacket fits me perfectly. The oh my. It's so expensive. It's just too expensive. Last but not least, we have the Puma and the Rubik's Cube collab. I showed you guys these sneakers earlier, but the Puma store here also has a few pieces from the apparel collection. So they got this hoodie, which looks really cool. And honestly, it just suits the theme perfectly. Like I never would have thought Rubik's Cube, like the, the brand Rubik's would have a, a brand deal or a merch deal with, uh, with Puma. We also have the shirt here too. Oh my gosh, the shirt screams like 80s, 90s to me. Like I feel like this is the shirt I would wear in Chuck E. Cheese when I was younger. This is really, really cool. How much did the shirt go for? The shirt goes for 4,500 yen. Next up, we have something more subtle. We have the simple white tee with a little sort of like box logo-esque design going on on the front right there. And then we have this design on the very, very back. And then they also have a black, white, and red one here as well. And the back is different. So same design as the white shirt I showed you guys a second ago, but the back has this design on the back here. I also think I found my favorite pants in the store. These are so sick. These are 8,500 yen. They're this woodland camouflage cargo pants. And it's that same really light, soft material that I have on my ape, uh, my ape cargo pants. And I wear those things all the time. Very subtle Puma branding right here with the white, but it has the cargo pockets here. It has a really nice, nice soft material. And then it has this little, uh, little, what you call it? Not scrunchy, but like 
jogger pant almost esque bottom right here where you can tighten it and then have it fit perfectly. This is just so sick, man. This is so sick. Check it, take a look at it on body. This is this is a look at it on body right here. Like, come on. The only problem is, is that it's 8,500 yen. I think that's like 85 or $100. Uh, but honestly, I think I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this pants. So we're gonna grab these ones and you guys will see these a lot on my Instagram. You guys will definitely ask me about them. And I'll tell you, yo, it's Puma, man. Puma's really stepping up their games. And then they also have a white Arctic camouflage one here too. I'm actually tempted to buy these for the winter, but realistically, like these aren't really gonna keep me keep me too, too warm in the winter months. And then they have some cool hoodies here too. But uh, yeah, I'm not really looking for any hoodies at the moment, any t-shirts. They have some pretty cool t-shirts, but yeah, these pants are a must cop. Check these out. Atmos also has an exclusive colorway of the Puma RSX. And these look like the OG colorway, but uh, with the color just changed ever so slightly. But it's that red and blue that we know and love from the original RSX that sold out, that has resale value. So this is a nice backup shoe. And honestly, it actually might be even better than the original Puma RSX. And these are going for 13,000 yen. And they do have the Shibuya exclusive Air Force One Lowe's. This, of course, is in Osaka. This is the Halloween colorway. I honestly think I'm gonna have to buy these because uh, there really won't be another opportunity for me to buy these at retail. So even if I regret it, I can still keep these on ice and sell them back home in Toronto. So you know what? Let's try and buy these and see if they have my size. So we are in luck. They do have the pair in my size. So really, really excited. We'll try them on in store, see what they're like on feet right now. And I also want to show you something that I always buy whenever I come to Japan. And there's some really dope socks. Check it out. Here is the selection they have today. I usually buy these socks whenever I come to Atmos in Japan or Chapter. I think Chapter did sell itself to Atmos though. So they're only in Atmos. These are the Ubique branded socks and they're really cool. Whenever I wear them, I always get some compliments on them. I think I bought something similar to this the last trip, but this one's a, a pass for me. I don't know how I feel about that lady there. These are pretty cool too with the skull. They have one with a little line here. Is that like a line? I don't know. We also got ones with fire-ish. These right here are going to be a must cop, so I'm gonna grab these. And I think these would look really good with the Air Forces I'm about to buy. And here are a couple others. We have this like flowery print one with fire. Some people even thought I got like my leg uh, tattoo sleeve, which was really funny when I wore these, but I love buying cool socks like these whenever I come to Japan. And check this out. It's like the elephant print Atmos Tokyo uh, canister or whatever. That's pretty cool. So the 9.5 fit a little bit tight. I felt my big toe like rubbing against the toe box. Never a good thing. So even though I usually go 0.5 down in Air Force Ones, for this case, I'm gonna have to go true to size. I think it is because of the material that they use on the shoe. It's not your typical like leather Air Force One. Again, it has that plasticky see-through material. So it makes sense, you know, the sizing will have to be a bit different. But yeah, we're gonna grab a pair in size 10. Hopefully they have them. And uh, we'll grab these socks, no doubt as well. What on earth is going on with these sneakers, the Nike Zoom X Vista? I have like, I have no idea. It's like the shoe has a platform on it. Like they added weights to the bottom of it. I'm not a, not a fan of these at all. Oh my gosh, the back looks like a tank. But uh, yeah, this is a woman's exclusive here at Atmos. So now we are going up the stairs to the second floor. Let's see what they have here. This is where they keep all the J's. So check it out. We got some Jordan Legacy 312 Lows. We got some Jordan 10s. I didn't realize they put out two different camouflage of the Jordan 10s. Some Jordan 1s, some mids, some lows. And check it out. We got the Air Jordan 4 What Does. These are sold out in men's sizes though. These are a woman's size right here. These are 16,000 yen. I'm surprised that these sizes are still sitting here in a Japan. Next up, we have the Adidas store here in Osaka. Let's check it out. Yeezy 500 Stone, November 23rd that's today and they have them here just chilling on display at the front of the store here is a better look at them these are going for 25,000 yen i'm honestly not too crazy about these i like the uh, the other materials they had on the other 500s and i'm not really a fan of the 500s at all check this out so they have an eva foam versus boost with these like metal balls bring it to the top let's see how these uh perform right here all right go for it three. Oh, oh wow that's bouncy oh. Oh, wow. And here we have it, the Reebok and Adidas collaboration on the Instapump Fury Boost. 
This is uh, not the black and white that they have labeled here. This is the uh, the OG yellow red colorway. I think we're gonna try and buy these today. They do have the black, white, and gum pair, but I'm after these or that Ultra Boost OG inspired colorway. So hopefully they have my size for these and we can get these tax free for 24,000 yen. So I'm gonna ask right now and see if they have them. But honestly, these are really dope. These are really, really dope. And buying the shoe in Japan just makes a lot of sense considering how popular the Insta Pump Furies are in Japan. Check it out, we have the Adidas 4Ds on sale early for Black Friday here in Osaka, Japan. They celebrate Black Friday one week early, weird to me, I know, but they have the, uh, I think this was the Alpha Edge 4D. They have these on sale for 30% off from the retail price of uh, of 38,000 yen. They also have this mint one right here. I really, really like this pair. And then last but not least, they have this black pair here too. I know that 4D definitely did not get as much attention or uh, as much love as I thought it was gonna get just because the retail price point was so high. So if you were looking to find some 40s on sale now it's finally the chance you might want to go in and scoop these for 30 percent off retail here is a look at the sneakers up close and personal again i'm not really feeling this sneaker guys it's not my kind of shoe but carlo carlo is going to be reviewing them on his channel so make sure you guys check out his channel for the review but yeah we'll give these back to him because i don't i don't want to be touching these right now y'all thought i was playing when i said adidas was having their black friday sale early no man they're on sale early all this entire wall is an extra 30 percent off right here it says black friday 30 percent off and shoe with the yellow sticker so we got the alpha boost right here we got a whole bunch of other adidas running shoes including the alpha bounce instinct it just goes on and on with some more of the ultra boost over here in the corner they got the ultra boost 19s here for 30 percent off they also have a uh, simple core black and white colorway here also on sale for 30 percent off that comes to 15,400 yen and best of all you can actually save on the sales tax here too so you're saving extra money on top of the 30 percent off Besides that, here's a look at the other Ultra Boost 19s. One of my favorites, this is like the core black and white colorway. Surprised they have these available. This is a straight steal for 30% off. I paid full retail for these and I love these shoes a lot. So yeah, for 15,400 yen with tax off. That's a, that's a, how do you, how do you turn that down, man? How do you turn that down? Great job, Adidas, love these. They're putting out some new colorways of the superstars right here. We have these white and red ones. Don't recognize these. They also have a white and blue pair. And uh, these are not on sale, unfortunately but they have the Pharrell NMD trail runners the hiking ones you could call these and uh, these are full retail price no extra sale for these ones